Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are back from Trans World 2024. We are up here at the haunt, the haunted house, haunted hills, haunted attractions. Um, soon to also be Hills Hollow Adventure Park. So came up here today because now that the Trans World rush is over, we'll be back on our schedule of time at HHP, time at the haunt, doing both, getting projects complete. We only have like six months to get this all our projects done for October. Yeah, I know. Uh, October's in six months. Crazy, isn't it? Um, so I figured today what I'm going to be doing is sort of looking at the areas that we're going to be renovating and planning out the renovation. Um, starting to lay out where stuff's going to go, starting to make a list of stuff that needs to be fixed, updated, stuff like that. So I figured I would show you some of that. Uh, today so we can kind of make a video list as I make my list that I write down as well as show you how I'm going to start plotting for a new large attraction that we're going to have over here it's going to be kind of well not kind of it's going to be totally brand new for the industry I don't know of anyone that has ever done anything like this so let's do that first walking into the square projects we've got this tarp is all screwed up and we're gonna be taking down the pumpkins from the pumpkin barn um, and basically redoing them. We uh, we put them all up here, screwed them all in, glued them all down, that kind of stuff, and then ran the lights to them. We're gonna be putting in a more complicated lighting system, but it's gonna make it to where they don't have to stay out here year round. And then we won't have to, to tarp this. We could just take them down, take them inside um, and put them away. So they're nice and taken care of. Um, Tarot Shack has to get themed so it doesn't look like a big black box. It's going to look like a, uh, when it's done, it's going to look like kind of an old swamp shack. So this will be pretty cool once it's complete. We do have some space over here. We might put some things over here. Um, we're also looking at installing a nicer fence around this or just taking it away. We, we might just take it away um, so that people can actually stand by the fire. We did some research this last year at some other haunted attractions, some other um, Christmas events that had fire pits and they didn't have anything around their fire pits. So we might just take this out and uh, make sure we have obstacles in the way so that, you know, it's not, no one's gonna run into the fire pit. So I think we'll just do it that way and just take this, get rid of this. So yeah. Um, looking at other stuff, we have to start to set up for the adventure park, which we're using like almost all of our attractions, the drive-in, um, the pumpkin launcher, the ax throwing, the area over there will be used for things. We're gonna have like picnic areas out here. We'll have the fire pit. We might install one more fire pit out here as well so that we have two. Um, we're also looking to, I guess, yeah, right here, we're going to actually build a room off of this. Um, which is gonna be like the bathrooms for the drive-in. And on the other side, which would be right there, we're gonna build like a facade for a drive-in. We're kind of putting little rooms out here that are kind of one room haunted houses. Um, so that the audience has a lot of stuff to like travel through. We do a virtual queue out here. So there is no line. So their time is taken up truly with exploring and interacting with our our various um, attractions. So I'm thinking right here in this space, I'm gonna put a movie theater um, facade and entrance that they'll be able to walk through. It'll be basically like a snack shack kind of thing. So it'll be the, it'll have a door that looks like it goes to like a movie theater but really just goes to the other side of the drive-in we'll probably put some movie posters in there if we can come up with some weatherproof boxes or like vinyl posters so they won't get all wet and messed up um so that you have that there'll be classic movies either classic movies or we'll create our own um kind of theming that could be kind of cooler um and a concession stand kind of thing as well um 
probably use that also as put like a smell in their popcorn or cotton candy which will then also hopefully drive sales to our actual concession stand to make people want popcorn and cotton candy now one thing i am saying that could be an issue right away is we ran electrical down this whole thing so that could be a problem there is a junction there there is a junction here so we could we might be able to run it up and over the the building um we'll have to see how that goes but we'll talk with joe about that see what that looks like and see if this project's even possible to make happen um, because of of that so apart from that so then they would like walk through the snack shack and into here um watch a movie we play play movies on here all that stuff and they'll be like it'll be like an actual haunted house scene in there so with like probably a dead body behind the counter um different stuff like that to see our actors can go in there and play we might put a table with like some food items on it or something prop stuff um that of course the audience is going to screw up all the time and then in here they actually come in here we play actual movies on this every night so they could sit here, watch a movie if that's how they want to spend their time. And then I, I'm talking about putting a small kind of building here, probably come off of this, and it'll be like your drive-in bathroom. So we'll put another structure here. It's also going to divert traffic from the haunted house this way so that they're not running straight again into like the fire pit. They'll come out and go this way into where the rest of the attraction is. And the more I talk about this, the more it's getting obvious that this is gonna have to change for the new attraction that's over here. We might have to move the archery to a totally new location, um, which is not impossible. We do have this large space over here where the archery could go. We do have all that space over there where the archery could go as well. Um, we don't have anything on like that concrete pad, so maybe we could put it over there. We'll have to see about that. But essentially right here, we're putting a brand new attraction. The first thing I'm gonna add here is actually an eight foot wide hallway coming off of this so that we basically have a backstage access all the way straight back into our uh, actor area. One thing we have found is that our actors that walk on stilts need a better access uh, to get to the backstage area and then out to here. Um, right now they have to walk all the way along the building, which kind of sucks because it's all pea gravel, plus there's cords above and um, support braces and things like that that they have to traverse to get out here. So it's not um, ideal for getting them on stage and off stage. This would just be um, a better access for them. So they have a wide path and this would almost turn into like the main actor corridor for getting to and from the actor area um, and into the scare zone and square. So we're looking at that. I think that's gonna happen for sure. Come eight feet off of this. This is already all graveled, so it's nice. Um, all the way back. Then the next thing that has to happen is we are essentially building um, a haunted house, just to put it lightly, a paintball field. Um, it won't be used for playing paintball, but it's we have this product called Gel Blaster, which we bought uh, with the inflatable structure that we bought from Mega Entertainment three years ago. Um, and it's very, very popular. Uh, we enjoy it a lot. And we did do it where they were shooting at targets. Um, we looked at zombie paintball a lot. And you hear the same problem over and over again, which is that um, essentially the actors don't want to get shot with paintballs all night long, every night. So that's, that's an issue. Um, what we came up with is, is instead we'll treat it and ensure it the same as a paintball field and um, <clears throat> do it the same way and the audience will shoot each other. So you get to shoot your friends um, for however long or until you're out of uh, shots in your hopper. We did it last year in the inflatable. It worked really well. People enjoy shooting their friends way more than they enjoy shooting random actors anyway. Um, then it turns into a competition. We add lights, we add things like that. Kids love it and you're using gel blaster balls so it's not paintball it does not ruin your clothes it's literally just water that wipes right off um so it doesn't matter what kind of clothing 
you have on at all. Um, and, and it doesn't hurt either. If you're shot like point blank, you'll feel it, but largely it just feels, you can feel it hitting you. It does not hurt at, at all. We still have everyone wear masks, all that stuff, but it's uh, really fun. So essentially the area I'm planning, to, so, sorry, let me reset. We're, we used the inflatable last year, it was nice. I would like to build an attraction. What, what I found from looking at our audience is that they want to do, when they come to a haunted house, escape rooms, um, axe throwing, all that stuff. Yes, it makes money, but largely your audience wants to do anything that you can deem as a haunted attraction, even if they have different themes um, or if they're very different than a normal haunted house. So I want to build this to look and feel like an actual haunted house, but play like a paintball field. So we're going to build the first part of our town that we've had in our story for almost two, two decades now, Hills Hollow. Um, and they're going to go to a residential area of Hills Hollow where there has been a plane crash um, carrying a prototype of Zydrate, which we use in this story and that basically creates zombies so this this area will have um essentially houses that they're going to play through it'll have um a fallout bunker because this does play take place in like night late 1940s early 1950s um it'll have a bunker it'll have houses it'll have a crashed airplane a radio tower all those kind of iconic 1950s 1940s kind of things um we also bought this old Right there, crashed up car. It's not crashed up, but it is all beat up. Um, it's freaking cool. Um, we're gonna be putting that. I'm gonna be getting at least a few more of them, probably not this year, but through the next few years, we're gonna be putting that one for sure in the attraction as an obstacle. But I'd like to see at least one more out front. Um, we also have the van out front that we don't know if we're gonna use that for the haunt or use that for this attraction or what. But right now I'm gonna to start to plan out where all that stuff is going to go. The actor hallway will basically butt up to the haunted house on that side and the um, gel blaster attraction on this side. So I need to plan that hallway out and then we will plan out the, uh, start planning out where this attraction is going to go and how big it's going to actually be. Um, we do have to make sure that the walls on the outside are high enough so that they can't be shot over to protect uh, people that are outside. So we'll, uh, we'll make sure that happens, but let's start figuring this out and placing stuff where we want it to go. So I do have this area right here, which is kind of a large area um, that is in the haunted house space. It's all on gravel. And right now we just kind of use it where our chainsaws run like back and forth um, but it's between the exit chainsaw run and the uh, the start of the chainsaw room chainsaw space I can see some plywood over there that's broken off that needs to get fixed see it see it flopping in the wind um, that needs to get fixed but um, <clears throat> I have this space here and this could um, solve a problem for me as well as uh, put a new space here in the haunted house. I don't know what the the theme of this space would be But I can already see how I can tie it into the haunt and get them get them back into this space to exit without really disrupting uh, the large the large flow of the path so If you go this way Which we're walking backwards through the haunt right now come over here I've got three walls here one two three and all of these are basically nothing um, you've got this hallway where you exit the spider cave and you go there again this room is basically nothing this is like underutilized space this space basically to here can't change because we have our spider alcove on the other side of this and we don't want to go that way at all because that's going to be the, the actor hallway um, but going straight here, we could go through this wall, um, which is probably the best idea to go right through this wall. 
because then they can come right back through this wall and this coffin thing I built will get taken out and turned into something else. But they'll come in here and then turn. It's gonna disorient them a lot and they won't realize they're coming back into that uh, spider space. So I think we'll do it that way. Um, let me get back over there. So essentially they'll be coming out this wall here will turn into a doorway of some sort and we'll put a big ass room here um obviously our chainsaw guys are right here that might change we could put something else here um, and get the chainsaw guys to work a little different area over there but i mean we've got a large space you're looking at that's like five feet so just call it four eight twelve sixteen twenty feet this way 20 by 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 20 by 20. So you've got 400 square feet right here. Um, that's the size of some people's haunted houses. So we can put a lot of stuff um, between, I mean, one huge room or like we could probably put three small rooms here um, and get them back into there because <clears throat> there's just tons of space to use. So we've got basically bring them out of here disorient them in this space and get them back into that wall so that they go right in and then continue the same path out of the haunted house and that would let us use like one more actor one or two more actors in here and we could add a lot of length to our haunted house which is always good adding <clears throat> adding to your haunted house and not raising the price is always a good thing so and plus it's literally just a dead space right now that needs to be used so <clears throat> we'll have to brainstorm and come up with something for this area um but we'll keep you updated on what this is going to become all right guys we're up here at hhp now uh here's what's going on so we're doing like some some deep cleaning getting everything pulled out getting stuff moved getting stuff swept out getting all the bullshit taken out to the dumpster um, and really starting to reorganize this whole building we're going to be remodeling in here a lot putting in new shelving new stuff like that but um everyone's taking care of that i am this is one of the projects that's just been sitting around so i'm trying to knock it out because it'll be pretty fast but uh turning these into little carved jack-o-lantern things i think i saw this on like pinterest or something so these are empty propane tanks these have never been full of propane um so they're not going to explode or catch on fire or anything but uh you can get these from the hardware store um, i took the spout out i cut this little handle deal that was on it out um, on both and now i'm cutting or drawing my jack-o-lantern face and i'm going to be cutting these out of both i'll also cut the bottom of that off um so that we could put the flame can in it it's going to shoot shoot fire up through it so that'd be pretty cool yeah let's do it all right so i've still got some work left on this um i got the first part of the smile cut out I have to go all the rest of the way around we got the eyes on the top um, i will be cutting out the bottom of this too so that the flame cannon can sit what i'll end up doing is like building um, a box that the flame cannon will sit inside of the hose comes up from the bottom and i want the fire to shoot through this so that the inside of the jack-o-lantern is lighting up and the flames spew out of the top so that's kind of where I'm aiming with this. This will all get sprayed with black too, so it'll be like solid black as well. I'm doing this one also, but uh, it's taking a while and I don't have too much time left, so I'm gonna call this for tonight. I'll finish this tomorrow. I'll finish both these tomorrow, but I wanted to get some more stuff cleaned up in the shop and then I'll show you progress. Let's do it. All right, so we're in the process of getting everything cleaned up over here. Jacob brought one of the racks out. Uh, we're gonna get this screwed into the, or he already did, good. He already screwed this to the wall. This is gonna be the new kind of this product is done area so we can uh we have costumes and this can go up so we can get this extended up higher to hold jumpsuits and stuff that we do but this way right by the door this product is done ready to leave vines masks horns whatever can go on here instead of sitting over there on the shelf that's full of bullshit um we got this cleaned out a lot of this stuff needs to go to the haunt but this is the area this is basically ready to ship ready to go home um, we've started dragging stuff out from all underneath all these tables. Jacob's in here getting these cleaned up. Looks good, man. Yeah, I know. It's a whole bunch of projects. So that desk is going to stay. That desk goes to the, the dumpster. Tear it apart and it can go in the garbage. Um, 
yeah, a lot of this other stuff we could start taking to the haunt, like the trimming corp toilet paper can go to the haunt. Um, we need to kind of sort through a lot of this other stuff. It needs to get like fixed or touched up or whatever. So yeah, we're uh, working through a lot of everything. I like a bunch of masks, a bunch of movies. It's your Christmas. Yeah, um, Jessica Ali made that one of our actresses. So yeah, we're getting everything clean. We got this thing cleaned out. What's up, Nate? We got this cleaned out. We're gonna be taking this whole counter out of here, throwing it away um and then putting racking in here to hold some molds hold supplies we've got tons of stuff that was just jammed underneath there and just needs to be better um over here we're getting everything we got everything swept we're getting everything cleaned up i want to go like even deeper like on this shelf why is that there why is that there is this any good like literally get everything tore apart and reorganized that's great jose um, your footage is going to be fucking sideways because you didn't check your camera. Oh, my bad. Good job. No, it's still so sideways. Put over there. Your footage is still sideways. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? See the red bar? Yeah. You're filming sideways right now. You fucked it up, man. Am amateur it. vlogger. I never vlogged before. Yeah, I, I know. You suck. You got it. Oh, oh, my God. Go go to your camera. Let me show you something. Now, turn sideways. See how it moves? Oh, oh dude. Oh, shit. All right, so I'm gonna the kids vlog learn stuff Justin every vlogging. day. So, looking. anyway... We're going to get this area cleaned up. We already started to. Um, yeah, we got this whole thing cleaned out underneath here. We still need to sweep and everything. But we're going to get materials under here. All the flex foams. Um, yeah, all, all our flex foams, all our, our fiberglasses, shit like that. So that's out of the way and not sitting on the ground everywhere else. So it's coming along. We've still got at least another fucking day on this. But I also need to get everyone back to working on product. But literally... I mean, everything just needs to be cleaned up. If it's garbage, it needs to go in the garbage. If it has a spot, it needs to have that spot. Um, certain things, like this huge void is for the spider. It could go like in the in the spider mold. There's no reason for it to be over there. We, we can get that sorted out, so. Anyway, we're about to get out of here for the day. It's, it's 11 o'clock, so we gotta get out of here. That's gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Justin tuning out. You stay scary.